Hi friends, good morning. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're here at Longwood Gardens. We're here really early for members hours to take a look at all the amazing tulips in bloom. We have lots of different areas to see and lots of tulips to admire. So let's just dive right into this spring bulb tour. Right here, we have an absolutely gorgeous variety. It looks like it's called Ivory Floridale. Isn't that beautiful? The blooms on this variety are ginormous. And I love the color palette in this first bed. Soft, buttery yellows, vibrant purples with soft purples. And then this really cool bicolor muscari down here. Let's find out what the name is. Hmm, I don't see a name on this muscari, but it looks like this tulip here a single early tulip is called Purple Prince. Really beautiful. Right next to Purple Prince, we have Flaming Prince. That's this amazing white and purple bicolor tulip you see. And if I just lift the camera up slowly, look at all of these gorgeous tulips in bloom. I think this is as close as we can get to Holland here in our neck of the woods. Let's check out this next bed. This bed is full of beautiful purples, whites, and pinks. The lily flowering purple tulip in front is called Maggie Daly. I love that one. I love seeing the tulip displays at Longwood Gardens, but I also love coming because it gives me an idea of what tulips I wanna purchase for my garden next year. And there's a beautiful dew on all the tulips this morning also. This is a really beautiful one, white with a really strong pink edge called Innuendo. Here we have some oranges and some corals mixed together, and I think we might have some tulips with interesting foliage in this bed. There's a sign here that says Triumph Tulip, and the cultivar's name is Jimmy, but I'm not sure if that's the tulip in front here or this taller orange. This one looks like Mystic Van Eyck. Let's see if we can find a sign. And I've got to figure out, what is this bicolor muscari? Valerie Finnis, it says. Yes, it does look like Mystic Van Eyck. That's one of my all-time favorite tulips. Right next to that, we have King's Orange. Here's a fun color palette of buttery yellow and really bold, vibrant red with a little bit of rusty orange mixed in. This double late is called Yellow Mountain. It looks like a beautiful buttery peony, doesn't it? I would never think to put these colors together, together but they really do shine together. What do you think of this fringe tulip called Parade? So these next few beds are really a Persian carpet of colors. Pretty much every color you could imagine in these beds. Let's get close up on a few that look really beautiful. So 
So friends, I don't see a sign on this one, but I'm guessing it's Queen of Night. Would you agree with that? And it's amazing how all of these are in bloom because at my house, they definitely all take their turn blooming. You know, Queen of Night wouldn't be blooming in my garden for probably at least two more weeks now. And they're blooming along with the early Triumph tulips. Here's a Valentine's planting of reds, whites, and a combo of the red and white together, which I think is my favorite tulip in this area. Let's see if we can find a tag for that one. And then if you like purple, I think the next bed is the bed for you. So friends, how about this planting right here? We have Mount Hood daffodils, and I'm not sure on this exact lily flowering tulip here, but doesn't it look just like Purple Dream at home? I love seeing daffodils and tulips together. So beautiful. So it looks like this red tulip with the white edging might be called Kung Fu, but I'm not exactly sure based on the placement of this tag. This bed is giving me Easter vibes. How about you? I love the soft buttery yellows, really gentle pinks. And then we have some bold pinky purples here. I love how they have the daffodils and the muscari just mixed in amongst the tulips. I think that looks so nice and natural. Here we have Foxy Foxtrot. Have you grown this variety before? You know, I thought I grew this variety, but now that I see it here, I'm thinking maybe mine was either labeled wrong or I got my labeling wrong because I thought it was more of a salmon. Over here, it's definitely more of a pink. How would you like to sit here under the shade of this crab apple tree, just sip coffee and stare at tulips all day long? Surrounding the vegetable garden here, we have another wonderful planting of tulips, muscari, and I do see a few daffodils still blooming, but it looks like they have pockets of tulips inside the vegetable garden. So let's go check that out. Does anyone recognize this tulip? Some really cool artistic supports in this area. I think this is my favorite area this year, and this is the color palette that I'm going for over in the main flower walk this year with the addition of acid green. But look at this hidden gem 
amongst all of these tulips. Have you ever seen a tulip like that before? And there's no other tulips in this whole area that look quite like that. But this area really does remind me of Sarah Raven's garden. It looks like we have some really impressive foxglove and snapdragons over in this garden and pots. I'm heading over to the waterfall now, and I just love this area. It's not fully leafed out, but we have lots of beautiful oak leaf hydrangeas in this area, and a lot of repetition. So it looks like we did probably have some daffodils in bloom in this area, maybe a few weeks ago. And now we have all of the beautiful bluebells. And I love the way the path curves here, so you can't fully see the waterfall summer snowflakes I see also. I think I see some allium leaves. Beautiful ferns. It smells really good in this area. Here we are in my favorite garden, friends. This is the sunken garden. It looks like they don't have the fountain running today, but beautiful shades of white and yellow in this garden. Little sprinklings of blue also. 